is the most beautiful spring morning outside today and I literally just can't stop staring at it. It's probably freezing out there but um, it looks like spring so that's the main thing. Today's video is so exciting. I'm going to be doing a high-end luxury get ready with me so from my hair to my makeup to my outfit everything's going to be completely high-end and it's kind of inspired by the event that is happening this evening ali and i have been invited down to london by land rover for the launch of their newest range rover model so far all we know is it's called the vela we've seen a shot of it from above on social media but that's all we've seen. We don't know the different features, so it's gonna be a bit of a surprise. But the Vela is said to fill the white space between the Range Rover Evoque and the Range Rover Sport. And it represents the latest evolution for the Range Rover design language. And as someone who owns and drives a Range Rover Evoque, this is so exciting for me. I bought my car around this time last year and it was my dream car and I still can't believe that it's mine. So to be able to go and be there for the world premiere of the newest model is just incredible. So I thought that I would take all of that information and plan my outfit and my makeup and my hair completely around it. So what I'm gonna do with you today is get ready and then you're going to come and experience the whole evening together and see the car firsthand when I do. There's also gonna be a little bit of a tour of the car to show you all of the design features that differentiate it from the other Range Rover models from Land Rover. But I have to remember not to treat this as if Ali and I are going car shopping. We do not need a new car, we do need a new car. I so want a new car. So with all that in mind, I am gonna start getting ready for the day ahead because I'm in such a good mood, I'm so excited, and I'm excited to be able to bring you guys along with us as well. So let's get going. So I fake tanned and I'm using Saint-Tropez Self Tan Express. This is the one hour one. And this is much more of like a more premium tan brand. And it is one of my favorites, I'm not gonna lie. To ensure that my skin is hydrated underneath my foundation, I am gonna use the Armani Prima Glow On Moisturizing Balm. You will have seen me use this before, it's amazing. And it just means that my skin is soft and hydrated. Then I'm going in with my By Terry CC Serum. I didn't actually use this in my last Get Ready With Me because I'd run out and I gave the tiny little bit that was left in the bottom to the girl at my gym because she wanted to try it. Um, so I was waiting for this one to arrive and it arrived. And I'm just gonna let that really sink into my skin. The primer that I'm using is the Yves Saint Laurent Blur Primer and I only use this in just a few areas on my face, just here and a bit on my chin and on my forehead. For my foundation, I am still using the Armani Power Fabric in shade eight, but I am gonna pop a few of the iconic illuminator drops in with that just to sort of bronze it up a little bit and make it really nice and glowy. This is my full face look, so I want it to be absolutely perfect. And then just a little bit of the illuminator drop. And that's my base done, and then I'm gonna brighten up the underneath of my eyes using the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat. Put a little bit too much on that one. <laughs> to set my base, I'm gonna use the By Terry Imperlius Voile de Pearl. This is not like normal powder, so I think that some people maybe don't realize that um, this is me setting my base with this, because it's kind of like, it's the lightest powder I have ever used. Sometimes when I use powder, it makes my skin feel like it's gonna crack, <laughs> like eh. Um, but this is much lighter, but still holds everything in place perfectly. I think By Terry is one of the most luxurious brands that I use, but all of their products deliver, so that's why I use them. For bronzer, I'm using the Yves Saint Laurent sort of like cream bronzer. I've used this quite a lot already. For my blush, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Air Blush in Flesh and Fantasy. Pretty. For my highlight, I'm gonna go back to the By Terry Sun Designer palette because I'm using luxurious brands and this is one of the most luxurious highlighters I've ever used.
Look at that glow, oh my god. I'm not quite ready to let go of my eyebrow combo just yet, so I am gonna use the High Definition Brow Tech. Then I'm going in with the Armani Eye and Brow Maestro in shade six, Copal. To set my brows in place, I'm gonna use the Givenchy Mr. Brow Groom. This is probably one of the best brow setting products I've ever used. This is one of their holy grails, I'd say. Next, I'm gonna do my quick contour of my nose. I don't usually contour my cheeks, although I was looking at Koshal's contour of her cheeks the other day and I was like, wow, if only I could do that. But no, I'm just sticking to a light contour down my nose using the Rodeal contouring powder as usual. And then just blend in using the excess foundation on my brush. On my eyes, I'm actually just gonna pop a little bit of the Dior highlight just to give them a nice sheen. Then it's time for my mascara and I'm gonna use the Yves Saint Laurent Fossil Mascara because this is a game changer. Look at the difference. Such a good mascara. So whilst my eyelash is dry, I'm just gonna pop on some lip liner. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in shade 3C. And then over the top, I'm going to pop the new Givenchy Interdite in shade Secret Nude. How cool is the packaging of Givenchy lipsticks? Look at that. Wow. <laughs> so that's my makeup finished and I feel like the finished look is just I love it it's so glowy it's it, my skin looks hydrated but yet it's still really true to who I am and my kind of style so yeah I really like how it looks but now we've got to get on and do my hair because it's very fluffy at the moment and needs some TLC <laughs> I actually use straighteners to then wave my hair as well. If I want slightly bigger waves, I'll use the steam pod. And if I want slightly tighter waves, I'll use the GHDs. But my hair just never holds if I use a curling barrel or something like that. So these are my weapons of choice. <laughs> and I alternate forwards and then backwards. And then forwards again and you just repeat that all over your head basically pain is got me feeling so high breathing burning like it's on fire slipping fading out of my mind when we get close we're gonna slow it down going deeper still i'm sky high giving you this the moment when you realize your super expensive Victoria Beckham dress has pockets. <laughs> Best dress ever. Best dress ever. So the dress I actually found on Stylebop and then I've gone for the Sophia Webster shoes because I feel like they just add a little something something to the outfit. I have the Dior Miss Dior Promenade which is like a kind of like a wallet on a chain. I don't have to take a purse out with me. It's just really convenient. I can just slot all of my cards in there. I really like my outfit and um, I feel like it's very true to my style which yeah makes me happy. But it's got pockets. Woo <laughs> so these are my handbag essentials for the night. I've got my Optrex eye drops. These are incredible. If you've got red eyes, this instantly takes any red sort of tired eye look away. And then I've got my, hi Lumi. <laughs> then I've got my Makeup Forever lip liner and my Givenchy lipstick just to touch up. That's the only makeup I'm taking with me. Then I've got some gum and my phone with Ali as the backdrop and a power bank because I can't be running out of battery whilst I'm out working, so I have that with me at all times. So we're about ready to go now. We're just waiting for our car to pick us up. We're gonna be heading down in a really nice Range Rover, so it's gonna be very comfortable for the drive to London. I've seen a couple of teaser posts of the car on Instagram. It's literally just like a shot from above, so it looks like all of the other Range Rovers. You can't see like the intricate designs of it or anything like that, which is kind of like exciting me because I don't know what to expect. We've got AR here. Hey. This is one half of our camera crew <laughs> that are gonna be joining us tonight. Unfortunately, I don't get to use AR tonight. That's Ali's um, friend tonight. You I'll just... get some shots of you anyway. Oh, thanks. <laughs> 
Um, so we're going to be, I'm going to be handheld talking to you the entire night, but um, you're used to that anyway. Are you ready to go? I'm very ready to go. Are you excited? I am actually, I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be one of my favourite events to go to. Yeah. Definitely this year, I think. Yeah, this is going to be super cool. Are we going car shopping? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, we're probably going to leave, like, put a deposit down. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I feel like we're going to, like, look at our future car, which is so exciting, because yeah. be I think once you've had one of the cars that we've got, it's like, I don't think you can ever really go back to another type of car, because we were like, we both had two yeah. seaters before, and now we've got this big yeah, spacious so car. Practical, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah. good. Literally, like, when we when we drive back from like long journeys, I just go in the back and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we have a blanket yeah. in the back for us, so I could just be like. <laughs> Let's show everyone your outfit because yes. you look really Ali looks so nice tonight. I, I have a thing for guys in Hugo Boss suits and Ali is head to toe Hugo Boss. That, that's you. <laughs> Actually, I'm not technically. I've got a, I've got a um, mulberry belt on. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. Oh, I remember when you got that. Oh. oh, that's so cute. So yeah, it's basically Hugo Boss through and through. Not a lot more to say. So you're wearing Hugo Boss and what yeah. are your shoes from? Um, these are Roman Cartier, actually. These aren't boss. Okay. And I've got Victoria Beckham and Sophia Webster on. And I've got my hand in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, don't stop. No, you just slow down. So we've just arrived and we're about to enter the building and I am so excited. It's like there's so many people everywhere. <laughs> Such a shame that it's raining, though. Are you good enough to wait for me? It has become a global must-have. Tonight, you will meet a new type of Range Rover. Welcome, the newest member of an iconic family.
so we finished off at the event and oh my gosh it has been such an incredible night but we're in the car on the way home now and I'm looking forward to getting my heels off and getting into bed because we all know how much of a grandma I am but there is one thing that I've realized and um, it's only a couple of weeks until my birthday so uh, <laughs> can I have a new Range Rover Velour? I'm sure we can work something out <laughs> but as usual, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below because I do two or three videos a week usually. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and I hope that I will be seeing you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!